So while my husband is out there working on the bees, we are going to be planting some peanuts. This is my first time planting peanuts. I see a ton of eggs. Oh my goodness, I see eggs. Oh, nice. Nice. Lots of eggs. While my husband is working on the bees, we are going to be planting some peanuts. This is my first time ever planting peanuts and I didn't do any research on it, but I have some assumptions. Since it is a root crop, I'm going to treat it as a root crop. So I got some bone meal with me and just some organic fertilizer. The bone meal helps with root crops and it helps with bulbs as well, like onions and garlic and tulips and such. Uh, in fact, I should be amending my garlic today as well. And the organic fertilizer is just going to provide the soil with any nutri nutrients that it might be deficient in and it's just going to boost those nutrients and help the plants grow uh, better. So uh, I might come back and amend it mid-season maybe so it takes about 80 to 90 days for these to mature and on the seed packet it says to uh, plant it as soon as the soil is workable i mean that was uh last month and we had uh, snowstorms during the mar during march so i was not able to come out here and plant uh, because we had tons of snow still on the ground and then all of a sudden in April we started having heat waves I mean I'm wearing short sleeves in April it's not very common but we're enjoying it today I think it's in the upper 70s it's really nice it's breezy I hope it's not too loud of a noise one day I'll get a microphone I don't know when that will happen but that day will come eventually a grumpy face keep stinging me and dying and making more alarms are they ready for a hive split I don't know they don't have any uh, I didn't see brood yet I'm, I'm working on it I just got the first box no not, not this time of year not yet okay. none of them are maybe next month no I mean like maybe in a month from now yeah, that's what I that's what I said. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you because I hear yeah. too many bees buzzing by my face. <laughs> the ladies are chattering. Oh, they're angry. <laughs> ladies are angry at me. There are 20 seeds in here, and it says to plant them four to six inches apart and two inches deep. So we'll see how that works out. One of the comments on one of my videos mentioned also that. Uh, the squirrels love the peanuts, so I'll have to protect the bed that I'm going to be planting them in with some sort of a mesh to stop the squirrels from coming in and taking my precious plants over here. Uh, honestly, I'm not, I was never interested in planting peanuts. The only, I can't say that, no, maybe I had a slight interest, but the only reason why I am planting this is because my son really wanted to plant peanuts. He's been asking for several years to plant some peanuts, so there we go. We're going to plant some peanuts. This is the bed where the peanuts are going to be going in. And I had these arch fences right here in between these two beds. And I took it down. Uh, I have one over here and one right next to me right here. And I'm going to be taking these down as well. I bought some 10 foot long T posts so that I can drive them down into the ground over here. I was thinking if I use the 10 foot long ones, then the fences the then the arch, arches won't bend down over the heavy load of the snow but then I decided to just uh, get rid of that whole idea and try something else and uh, when I do I'll share that with you I don't think I'll be able to do that today because I also want to remove the other arch fence over there and grab some soil and put it in the bed that's right here uh, so that I can start planting in these two beds because uh, I don't want to wait too long. I have lots of plants that need to go in the ground and these beds have to get ready, have to be ready for those. You can see I have the irrigation just kind of laying on the bed. I took it down because last uh, fall I was filling these beds with some soil. So I'm going to take it out and we're going to add the amendments first to the soil and then we are going to
some garlic growing here from last year so I'm just leaving this I wasn't able to fill the whole bed with the peanuts so I stopped about halfway through here and then basically almost half the bed is empty on this side uh, so I'll figure out something to plant there uh, something like early summer uh, crop in here probably or if I planted too many spring crops and I have no place for them then I'll just put them in here uh, whatever places that I have uh, excess space I'll just stick something in it because I don't like to leave bare soil because that's just going to encourage weeds to grow and instead I would rather grow something that I want in there I left this space right here about a foot wide this way empty and right now I'm going to make a trench in it and I'm going to plant some sugar snap peas in here I planted some sugar snap peas in there last year and they did great and um, you can plant beans in the same place um, year after year that's no big deal I forgot what I was saying I got distracted with cuteness uh, I think I was talking about planting peas in the same place year after year so as long as you don't have any uh, fungal diseases like uh, uh, Furasium root rot or anything of the sort you're okay with planting beans year after year in the same place I've done it and they don't it's not like they're going to steal the nutrients uh, if you amend the soil with the nutrients that they need then they're going to be happy and be fine so I already amended the soil over here with some plant tone and I did not put the bone meal in here I don't think it's necessary I could if I wanted to but I was saving that for my onions and for my garlic uh, and because these require a lot uh, of fertilizer to flourish and sugar snap peas they seem to do really well with uh, just uh, minimal care and the variety that I'm planting is sugar and sugar snap peas and you plant them about two inches apart from each other and I'm going to be putting over here the bamboo trellis that I had uh, last year in here uh, and for just for now or I might do something else. I think I'm gonna do the bamboo trellis in here. This way they can climb over it. They don't grow too high, about between two to three feet tall maximum. They never really get to three feet tall. Maybe I'm wrong. No, they do get to three feet tall. <laughs> they do. I'm trying to remember. They do get to three feet tall. Uh, and that's it. You just need a small kind of trellis for them and uh, you want to plant them early in the season so that you because they do not like the heat once the heat hits they start to sort of vanquish what you can do then is you can let them uh, the pods dry up on the plant and you can harvest seeds from them to uh, to plant for the next year and that's what i've been doing year after year and um, i have tons of sugar snap sugar and peas now because of this and I accidentally purchased more because I thought I did not have any because I had them hidden somewhere <laughs> and I couldn't find them I did not mention the depth uh, you plant them about an inch deep or so half an inch to an inch deep and uh, just uh, water them and make sure they don't dry out during the germination period and the same thing with the peanuts it applies to everything I don't know though with the peanuts if they are susceptible to any rot I did see some um, bugs in the pods because I opened up the pods and um, they some of the pods had some bugs in them and I'm glad I did that uh, because uh, I don't want to put these bugs in the soil and then have them just devour all the crop that's there because I don't know if if I might have that same bug over here but but if I don't have it I don't want to introduce it so these these pods that had it are going to go in the trash so that I don't end up with that uh, pest over here and for the sugar snap peas sorry I keep jumping topics uh, those you can plant them either early spring or midsummer to early fall uh, they can withstand temperatures up to 28 degrees so they can take a good frost and um, a hard frost uh, last year I planted them super early in the season this year I wasn't able to because of the snow uh, so I'm just gonna plant them now and uh, see what we get if I don't get anything that's all right um, I'll just plant again in the fall I do hope I get something because we all love sugar snap peas it's one of our favorite snacks so let's go ahead and get them planted
Okay, so the sugar and peas are planted. All I have to do right now is just water them. And now we are going to go to the garlic bed and amend that with some bone meal and plantain because garlic is a heavy feeder. All uh, alliums, uh, like onions and uh, garlic and also, and chives, well, not chives, but anything that has a bulb are heavy feeders uh, because uh, they need a lot of food to to create the starches in the bulb. So we need to provide them with that food in order for them to grow big bulbs. So here's the garlic bed. They are looking amazing. And uh, I put down some mulch on over them earlier last uh, fall. And I also have a video on how to plant garlic and how to care for it and all that. If you are interested in watching that video, I'll link it down in the description box below. Uh, some, of those gar some of the garlic is just barely sprouting right now and that's okay because some bulbs are bigger than others so they have more energy in them to put on some growth and uh, now they're just going to work on developing that bulb so let's go ahead and give them some bone meal and some plant tone. The garlic bed is amended. If you are interested in learning more about growing garlic, I have a blog post on that and I'll link it down in the description box below. And also if you're interested in learning more about growing sugar snap bees, I also have a blog post on that and I'll link it in the description box below as well. And also if you're interested in any of the products that I'm using, I'll also be linking them down in the description box below. I hope this video was uh, enjoyable for you to watch guys and I hope it was informative. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye. So while he's working on the bees, I'm going to be planting some peanuts. He can't hear me. He can't hear me. So while he's working on the peanuts, we are... Oh, what?